Oh, this should definitely be a double. Um... Okay. So, here is... what we're gonna do first. System.out.println uh, name of object. System.out.println price And here's a very useful function. You can actually keep using methods as much as you want. It's kind of the point of making methods. Oh, and in case you're wondering, these do not have to be the same name. These variables, they can be whatever you want. It does not matter. It just coincidence they happen to be <laughs> both exactly the same. Um, okay. So we have our cash register. And now we can actually create a main method inside of here. We don't have to create a uh, another class to run the object or to run things with the object. So let's make public static void main. Generally, when there's a main method that is inside of an object that you're using, it's usually a test method. But in some cases, it's not. As you can see here, we're just using it to run the, we're too lazy to make another class. But just know if you hear a test method, sometimes people are referring to a separate main method. It just makes it easier to test each object. So, let us create a cache register and we'll name it uh, register. Now, should we give it money? Yeah, we're going to have $5 in there today. Um. Okay, so we're going to purchase, I probably spelled that wrong, if you guys haven't noticed yet, I'm horrible at spelling, a hat, if I, let's see, how much is a hat going to be, let's make it an expensive hat, $10. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is get change. Uh, so the price of object is $10. Let's say they gave us a 20. Well, actually, we'll just put that in the receipt. We're going to purchase... Oh, I made the method buy. Kind of important to remember your method names. Register dot buy. And we're going to buy um 
a hat that's worth ten dollars. Next thing to do is to print the receipt. Um, so the name of the object is hat. Uh oh, uh, price of the object ten dollars and money given. Let's say they gave him a twenty. There we go. Um. Oh, register dot. And now, we'll print out, um, the money in the register, which is going to be register dot money. Okay, we'll compile this and run it. And there you go. If a hat, the price was ten dollars. What was given was twenty dollars. The change was ten dollars, of course. And have a nice day. That's the receipt. Um, and there's now fifteen dollars in the register. What? Oh, we started with five dollars, that's why. That makes sense. <laughs> okay. And let's see. Next lesson is going to be up in I'll probably post it at the same time as this lesson. It's gonna be on user input. Okay. See you guys later.